I am Lamont at large. Today, I am at the 12 Gates Cemetery here in Kansas City, Missouri. I am here to visit the grave of rapper Fat Tone. When I say the name Fat Tone, people are going to come up with a couple of different opinions about him. One of those opinions is going to be that he was a very notorious individual. Had a rather lengthy rap sh sheet. But most people are going to say that he is the man that was behind the shooting of Bay Area rap legend Andre Hicks, better known as Mac Dre. On October 31st of 2004... Mac Dre was in Kansas City performing at a club, had just got done performing. And supposedly there was a, an argument between Fat Tone and Mac Dre over some kind of payment, something to do with money. Uh, the rumor gets a little uh, convoluted at that point. Mac Dre leaves the site in a white van and he goes, he's on the freeway. A dark colored sedan pulled up alongside of the white van that Mac Dre was riding in that was being driven by his friend. Shots were fired. The van crashes off the freeway into an embankment. Uh, the police are called. When they get to the scene, Mac Dre was already dead. The driver of the van didn't want to talk about what happened, what possibly happened. So the streets talk, as you know. People talk in the streets and the finger pointing and the word on the street is that Fat Tone is responsible for the murder of Mac Dre. Kansas City police detectives call in Fat Tone for an interview. So they're talking about the, uh, about the crime. And he denies having anything to do with it. He had nothing to do with it. He wasn't there, so forth and so on. In the eyes of the Kansas City homicide detectives uh, he remained a person of interest at best he was never charged with the murder of mac dre he however was charged previous in the murder of a pregnant teenager that uh, charges were later subsequently dropped so he's free he's doing his thing doing rap tours making music so forth and so on so in May of 2005, Fat Tone and a friend of his go out to Las Vegas to attend a Snoop Dogg concert. And one of his friends that he was to meet up with in Las Vegas by the name, a man by the name of Andre Dow, had promised that uh, he had connections and uh, would, uh, he would be able to meet Snoop Dogg. Uh, Andre D Dow, uh, another notorious figure, uh, he also was a rapper. Uh, you might have heard of him. His rap name was Mac Minister. So after the concert, Fat Tone and an associate of his, for some unknown reason, they go to a construction site. They're driving around in a 1992 Toyota Tercel. And out of nowhere, somebody comes up, pulls out a semi-automatic rifle and fires 33 times into the car killing them both instantly. According to the autopsy report, Fat Tone was shot 20 times and the other gentleman beside him was shot 13 times. You may want to call it the streets cleaning itself up, whatever the case might be. So police immediately suspect Mac Minister was behind the murder of fat tone simply because uh, they figured it was a revenge killing for the death of Mac Dre. Mac Minister goes on the lamb. Uh, one of the most uh, viewed episodes of, of America's Most Wanted featured uh, Andre Dow and him being on the run. When, when Mac Minister was in Las Vegas, he was with an associate of his, Jason Mathis, and Mac Minister had a girlfriend who was really an escort. Her name was Lee Danae Larson. Police have Miss Larson buying ammunition for the same kind of gun that was used in the murder of Fat Tone nine days previous. So this was a planned hit. And all 
all the evidence pointed to uh, Jason Mathis and Mac Minister being behind the murder of Fat Tone. When they fled back to the Bay Area, Lee Denae Larson was found shot to death in a field in Fairfield. I guess we can't have any witnesses now, can we? Eventually, Mac Minister is caught and along with uh, Jason Mathis and they are both tried for uh, two counts of first degree murder and they're both subsequently sentenced to life in prison where they remain to this day. Uh, the Mac Dre murder has never been solved. So let's go to the grave of this notorious figure known as and here we are. This is the grave of Anthony Fat Tone Watkins, April 29th, 1981 to May 23rd, 2005. It's real. Um, there's some flowers here for him. He's been dead for 14 years now. And uh, dead men tell no tales. Uh, who knows if he was behind the murder of Mac Dre? Uh, whatever crimes this man committed in his life, in a sense, have been paid in full. Now he lies here in the ground, never to speak or be heard from ever again, until possibly his friends and family meet him on the other side, wherever that other side is. A very notorious grave um, and uh, pretty young guy just turned 24 years old when he was shot and killed who knows what happened the streets can talk all at once but uh, at the end of the day we just we don't know who did what so an amount of money that you wouldn't even be able to buy a decent car with that was argued over and two people three people excuse me four people shot and killed over a few thousand dollars I mean literally if a lot of people already know this story but if you would see the amount of money that they have fought over it's ridiculous you couldn't even take that money and have a a, a, a great vacation to Vegas on that. There's rumors that it was less than $3,000. So. It's the paper chase, guys. Uh, people will do anything. They'll slit their own mother's throat for a dollar. It's a very, very gruesome game. The underground rap industry. Sex trafficking, drug dealing, gun running, and murder. That's what revolves around it. I'm Lamont at large. I'm signing off.